The good news you so wish for might take longer than you think you can bear. So what do you do during this waiting period is what matters the most. You have to train yourself to cope during the waiting period. And how you do that is to be patient knowing that there is the expectation of good news in the future. Once you have a vision of who you'd like to be, do not lose sight of it, but keep pushing till you get there. Joseph in the Bible already knew his future from his vision, but if not because of how much he reverenced God and believed in Him, he could have easily lost sight of who he would be in the future because every bad thing that kept happening to him. You should not get distracted by the things happening to you. This could make you lose focus on how great you're meant to be and can make you weak in faith, losing the picture of the good that God can do in your life right now. Most times, when people focus on the bad things, it's the fault of the person because they've magnified the problem. You let the bad effect of that bad news get to you, whereas you're meant to use it as a stepping stone and a lesson learned. Also, Joseph has a lot of ups and downs. It looked more like as things were getting better, its result would be something worse. He became a prisoner to being the head of Potiphar's house. For some people, that would be their end because they would have lost hope. But good news came to Joseph because even in the prison, he kept living. He did not live based on his situation at that present moment, but had a sight of the future which he would like to feature in. He believed so much in what he would still become that what he was at the present moment meant nothing to him. Develop a mental picture in your mind of what you want your life to look like in the future and save it so that when things are not going according to plan, remember this picture and plan to push yourself forward. Make sure that even in the failures that are meant to bring you down, you are still prospering. Amid the pain and struggles, you have to keep living because the call of good news is almost here, which would be a breakthrough from all this negativity. Another biblical example of how to wait for good news is the story of Hannah. Hannah was believed to be a barren woman, but when she prayed earnestly to God, he heard her cries and gave her a son. The Bible says that the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. You have to know how to make use of prayers to speed up your good news. There are different accounts of delays in the Bible and how they were sped up through prayers. When you want good news, keep praying for it and do not stop till you get your answer. When you stop, it's more like you're giving up on the fact that that situation can change and you're beginning to accept the fact that there is no solution in hand. During the waiting time, keep praying till the call of good news is answered in your life. Hannah did not stop praying till she got her son, and neither should you stop till you get your answers. Albert Einstein is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, scientists to have lived, but his early life was not a bed of roses. It was filled with failures and disappointments that should have affected him, but the latter is greater. Albert had to fight against the odds to earn the title of greatness. He was good in math and physics, but in his entrance exam, although he performed well in both subjects, his performance in other subjects was unsatisfactory, and the overall result was considered academically poor. His academic brilliance was far from what he is considered today. He struggled to maintain even average scores during his graduation. His reputation as a student was awfully poor in the teacher's eyes, and they never took him seriously. After graduation from the Institute, he shocked everyone with how well he was doing. No one could believe that the person whom they considered a failure will rewrite the future of humanity and will give science some of the most powerful theories and equations that will lay the foundation of modern science. In 1921, Albert won the most notable prize for any physicist, the Nobel Prize, and from there, the dawn of quantum theory began. Though later in life after he was succeeding, he suffered from heartbreak because of his divorce, which did not discourage him from his work. His hard work made him successful and he became a historical figure. Today, people still learn from his years and will continue to learn from him. He did not let the opinion of others stop him from getting his good news, 
and you shouldn't do the same. Life has a way of making you give up on things, but the question is, will you let it win? Will you let everything roll out and be carefree of the outcome? You should take action and control of the situation to get the good news you so wish for. God has spoken in His word over you many blessings of His goodness. Trust in His goodness and expect to see His best every day of your life. If you will trust God through the storms, He will bring you good news that will be like a dream come true. Just like Peter, who was a fisherman with his business partner, trying to catch fish throughout the night on the sea, nothing happened. He said, We have toiled day and night and we caught nothing. But when the good news came calling, they caught a boat sinking load of fishes. That is the same thing that will happen to you from today. A call of good news is coming. It's already on its way. It doesn't matter how big that mountain seems. It might be overwhelming to you now, or that strange object in your body now. A call of good news is coming. Some people have never had a manifestation of God's goodness throughout their lives. They have all their lives toiled and striven to try to make ends meet, or gone from hand to mouth seeking food and shelter. Then others are in a siege of depression and sadness because throughout their lives, they've magnified negativity in their life. But God is saying to you, a call of good news is coming. Suddenly, you will receive that call that will bring you joy and rejoicing again. You will receive that call that will change your story and that of your family, because God's help has come for you now. You've been trying to meet needs and walk in life and destiny by your strength, and that's why everything seems frustrating. But God is saying to you, trust me and lean not on your understanding. If you follow me and trust me all the way, my strength will replace yours and your weakness will be a very qualification for your joy and happiness. There is about to be a shift in your life by the call of this good news. A good news of salvation of all kinds. A good news of glory. A good news of restoration. A good news of lifting because God is working in your midst and confirming His goodness in your life with physical manifestations. See the call of good news coming, expect it, and experience joy in the place of your tears today.